Good morning, ladies. It's such an honor to be here today. And uh, I just bless you all in the name of the Lord. What I'm going to be doing today is pretty unique. Um, about six weeks ago, my son-in-law, yeah, who lives in the States, Jeremiah, he told me uh, on Facebook, he says, Tom, uh, Tommy, he calls me Tommy, Tommy, will you, will you think about doing something from Proverbs? And I never gave it a thought, because I usually work in the New Testament on dramas that I do from the Bible. And so I thought to myself, I know what to do with Proverbs, because my, my favorite part of Proverbs is Proverbs 31. Proverbs 31 is known as a chapter of the Bible that's really dedicated to women. And I'll just let the short drama explain it all, but uh, it's really dedicated to you today. And dedicated to my son-in-law, his wife, my daughter, and to his mother, his mother Tammy. Um, you won't find what I'm going to do in any one Bible. What I've done is, there's like 30 different translations in the English language. So I went through all of them, and I arranged and picked out the cream of the crop, cherry picked each verse. So what you're going to hear today is something really unique, and I hope you enjoy it. These are the words of King Lemuel, an oracle of wisdom handed down to him by his mother. These are the solemn words which King Lemuel's mother said to him. You are my own dear son, the answer to my prayers. What shall I tell you? Oh, son of mine, what have you been thinking of? Child whom I bore, the son I dedicated to God. Don't delude your strength on fortune honey women, promiscuous women who shipwreck leaders. Don't waste your life chasing after women. This has ruined many kings. A valiant woman, for her price is far above precious stones. A wife of noble character, who can find? She is worth far more than rubies. She inspires trust, and her husband's heart is safe with her. And because of her, he has every good thing. She will do him good and not evil all the days of her life. She searches out continually to possess that which is pure and righteous. She delights in the work of her hands. She's like a trading ship that sails to faraway places and brings back exotic surprises. She rises from bed early in the still of the night, carefully preparing food for her family and providing a portion to her servants. She goes out to inspect the field and buys it. With her own hands, she plants a vineyard. She is a hard worker, strong and industrious. She perceives that her merchandise is good. Her candle does not go out by night. Her hands are busy spinning thread, her fingers twisting fire. She opens her arms to the poor and extends her hands to the needy. She is not worried about the cold or snow for her family. For she has clothed them all in warm crimson coats. She maketh for herself carpets of tapestry. Her clothing is fine linen and purple. Her husband 
is respected at the city gate where he takes his seat among the elders of the land. She makes linen garments and sells them in the market and she supplies belts for tradesmen to carry across the sea. She is clothed with strength and dignity. She can laugh <laughs> at the days to come. When she speaks, her words are wise and she gives instructions with kindness. She watches over the affairs of her household and does not eat the bread of idleness. Her children rise up and honor her. Her husband does also, and he praises her, saying, Many daughters have done valiantly, but you have surpassed them all. Charm can be deceptive, and beauty doesn't last. But a woman who fears and reverences God shall be greatly praised. So go ahead and give her the credit that is due, for she has become a radiant woman, and all her loving works of righteousness deserve to be admired at the gateways of every city. Thank you. Storm, but most of